lifted. Boys, it's hot outside. It's like 90 degrees. I say it's not too bad on the bike when you're rolling. I can stand that. It's uh, coming to a stop and having to wait. That's why I go the back way too. I don't try to go through town. Plus there's more shade trees this way than on the, the bigger road. And I like the shade. But anyway, sorry I haven't been making a lot of riding videos lately. It's because I've been so busy with the house trying to build the new house. I uh, got the walls framed up now in the house part. Because you know we got the camper on one side and we're staying in the camper and then the, the half of the uh, other half is the uh, house so we get the walls framed the wife's been helping me and now I've got a this evening work on electrical boxes put in the boxes for the receptacles and then I'll do the wiring myself and the plumbing also and uh, but anyway so we got a lot of work to do so I've been trying to work every evening on that and weekends and I get tired after a while but it's getting there. So it's about time to adjust the valves on this thing. Uh, I think, yeah, I got 6,900 miles, almost 7,000 miles, and they haven't been adjusted yet. Um, my last one I had them done at the Honda shop. Of course, I'm not sure if they actually adjust them or just said they didn't charge me 100 bucks. But I could actually do it myself because I have done it before. I just ain't got time to mess with it. I've got so much stuff with videos and review videos and stuff like that, that and all the work on the house. It's hard to have time to do it. So. Uh, did you guys have yours done? What miles did you have yours done? And did the shop say if they was out or was, they, was it okay? Now, the last time... On my 2014, when I had the valves adjusted, they said they didn't have to do any shimming because it was just, it was perfect. And that was probably at like 5,000 miles. I really don't remember when I had it done on the 2014. So I'm just wondering if you had it shimmed, if they had to uh, make any changes or not, or who knows if they're telling me the truth anyway. I hardly trust anybody but myself. That's why I do most, pretty much everything myself. Same way on like the Gladiator, the Wrangler that we had. Once the warranty part, not the warranty part, but the uh, free oil changes and stuff up, is up, I do all that myself. I don't trust anybody else to do anything or whether they're really doing it or just saying they are. There's too many rip-offs in this world. I don't care if it's a, a, you know, a dealer or not. I still just don't trust them. And I'm plenty capable of doing it myself and saving a lot. I ain't paying somebody uh, 20 to 40 bucks to rotate my tires when I can do it myself in no time. Watch these little dogs. Here they come. Watch it. That dude wanting to tear my leg off. But anyway, post below in the comments if you guys had your valves adjusted what miles did you have it done at and if they was out or if you really believe they was out or what's your comment on that because i need to take this thing to springfield and just leave it for a day and have them do it and get it over with haven of the ozarks this is my kind of road right here you seen my tire changer video I made. Um, hopefully this front tire, when it gets wore out, I didn't want to... I had to do the video because they sent me the tire changer. Even though I got the tire changer, but I don't really need to change the tire right now. So I hated to pull it off, break it down, and do all that to one that I'm not ready to change. So hopefully uh, when it gets wore down enough, I'll change it. And I'll use that tire changer bead breaker and see how good it works. So stay tuned for that. Look at all them pooches in there. Them suckers are hiding in the shade, what they're doing. They're not stupid, except for this guy right here. <laughs> He's running out there. We're looking for a dog. 
if we can find one. But I don't want to spend no money on a dog. You know, we just want a little a little dog. It has to be a, either a Pomeranian or a Yorkie. But I want the smallest one. I don't want the big one. I want the tiny for a Jeep dog to go with us. But it's, it's going to have to be a little bitty one. And free. Yeah, probably people saying, yeah, right, free. But that's how I've got every dog I've ever had. It's free. It's no mutts. Even the Pomeranian we had before. Bear. So, if anybody knows of a dog, let me know. Now, it's warm when I get out in this sun like this, I can tell you that. Especially on this asphalt. The crazy, a big difference between the asphalt and the, uh, this is actually chip and seal, between the chip and seal or asphalt and the gravel. Big difference in temperature. Especially if it's black. If it's real black, it's hot. So thank you guys for watching Woodman Adventures. Stay tuned. I promise to have more riding videos as soon as I get a chance. Catch y'all on the next one, guys. Click the thumbs up on this video. I know a lot of you like to skip that, or maybe you're not logged in where you can't, or but please help my channel by clicking on it. If you need CRF 2 VDL parts too, check out the, the Amazon link below in the description because I have uh, other stuff in there. If you need something, I can add it to my Amazon store if there's something that I don't have. But catch y'all on the next one. Right on.